Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Uh, today we are going to have only three bullet points on my list. I hope it's a shorter video as compared to the one uh, I made yesterday. So the bullet points, very quickly. So the number one is the new vote that I started on Twitter for a specific day for the live stream is uh, Saturday, the result uh, won by 37.5%. Uh, this was a very, um, very close, very close call between Saturday and Sunday, and even Wednesday was uh, close to those results, but we'll just go there. Uh, also, my, I would like to apologize because he, uh, on my video yesterday, on my previous video, the episode 22, I mentioned that if Saturday was the chosen day for the live stream, we would have only a few hours left on the day because I thought today was Saturday. So that was my mistake. Today is Friday, so we still have time to prepare for tomorrow. I will inform you guys about that, about the time that the live stream will occur. The second point is, of course, the price to time model. We are going to analyze uh, the price action according to the model. And the third point is also, as usual, the MRI strategy and the pro indicator strategy. So let's go directly to screen share. And here we are. So as you can see, the first bullet point on the list, sorry, wrong zoom. This is the final result for the voting that ended just a few minutes ago. Uh, so Saturday got 37.5% of the votes, Sunday 34.4 and Wednesday 28.1. So this means that we are going to have a live stream tomorrow and I will come back to you guys on Twitter. So please follow my Twitter. You can see that my Twitter handle is here at underscore Hugo underscore Ramos underscore. So just add me on Twitter and you will be able to see at what time I will have the live stream tomorrow. So be prepared because I will announce it today before the end of the day. And I will also try to find the best way to inform you about the time, considering different time zones uh, for different people. So probably I will give you two uh, types of time zones like GMT and UTC so that no one has a mistake. Anyway, if you are subscribed to my channel on YouTube, you should also get a uh, um, some kind of uh, warning from YouTube that the live stream is on. So just pay attention to your YouTube notifications also. And that will be, I think everything will be just fine. So I hope today the video is shorter, as I said. So let's go directly to our number two uh, point on the list. And that is the price to time model. So here we are at the price to time model. Let's check the price action remains the same candle remains red, but we are still below the curve line. So according to the price to time model, I believe this is a healthy and sustainable price action. We are about to have, uh, as you've seen before, Tone Vase drew an ascending triangle here. And he believes, which I also believe, that we are going to have a breakout soon. I've been talking about this breakout for a few videos already. And I believe that really soon we could have a strong breakout to the upside. Let's hope that the breakout is uh, high enough, but also low enough to not go above the curved line, which would be not so good because it might trigger a big correction. So according to the price to time model, this is everything we have for today. Uh, let's go to the MRI and I will go to the weekly chart. <coughs> Sorry for that. Uh, so here we are on the weekly chart. As you see, we have a nice candle uh, structure here. This is a hammer. It's a bullish candle. If we can at least turn this candle green, that would be very nice as a good sign for the bullish case. And probably even close this hammer above 59. That would mean the highest weekly close in all of Bitcoin's history. That would be a very, very, very bullish sign to me. 
uh, I guess Tone Vase uh, on his video today and yesterday also agrees that a, cl a weekly close above the 59 would be a very bullish case, um, a very bullish sign for the for the for the bulls, and uh, sorry for the bullish case, and um, I agree with him too. So in this case we are in sync. Um, the moving averages continue to go up at a rapid pace however i don't see any touches of the 20 period soon and the volume also continues to decline a bit which is the only sign of uh which is the only sign that is worrying me just a bit not so much because the price action is more relevant than the volume and to me at least uh, the RSI continues to go sideways. We don't have any show, any signs of going up or down for now. As you know, this is a lagging indicator. Also, the MACD, the same. We continue to see the gap between the two lines uh, becoming shorter and the bars also going a bit down. However, if we are able to close this above 59, as I said before, and break the ascending triangle, that would be a very good sign. So let's go quickly to the daily. Loading the MRI. Okay, the MRI is loaded. So as you can see, we had an MRI top here. However, we didn't have the one to four candle correction. And we are now on an A extension, which probably comes from this MRI top here, the all time high. So that's why the daily candle is a bit uh, going up and down and not really knowing what to do. However, I believe that really soon we will have some kind of indication probably and I would expect uh, that would be a very good sign for the bullish case that we can close above 59 before Monday. So the weekly candle should close in one, two, three. So here we should at least by this point in time have a candle close above the 59 and that would mean a very good uh, thing for bitcoin price action for the daily there's nothing else to say uh, except that this is a one to four candle correction that occurred a bit later than the mri top this is an a extension so the probabilities of the mri are pointing down however the price action is going up as you can see, the candle just turned green right now. The RSI, MACD completely neutral. I don't see any problems on the daily for the BitMEX funding rate. And let's go to the four hours. So the MRI is loading. Okay, this is now loaded. We had two hours ago, we had an hourly MRI top. We had a small decline on the price action. However, the 50 period moving average, the yellow line you see here held the price. We are still in dumb zone, no man's land between 56 and 59. I'm not going to enter or exit the market. Probably if there are really strong indications that the market could go down from here for some kind of big correction, I could think about taking some profit on my trading positions only around the 59,000 or even a bit above if we cross it to the upside. However, I'm not going to get in to the market right now uh, unless we have a big dip, a big correction below 56 and the market shows me any signs of going back up again, uh, just like we did here, um, you know, two days or three days ago or two days ago, I guess, when we crossed the 56 line to the downside a few times and then we went back up again. In the short term, the volume is increasing a bit. However, in the weekly chart, as you saw before in the daily chart, um, the price was the the volume was declining. So this is just a short term um, increase on the volume by time. Uh, let's see the volume by price we are on one of the biggest supports resistance that we had in the short term on the short time frames of the four hour chart um, let's see if this continues to hold the price or if we need to go back down again before another retry to break the resistance at 5960k 
and probably go to new all-time highs soon which i hope it happens before sunday night and the weekly close the rsi is showing just a small bearish inclination to the downside the macd however is uh, the lines are crossing the bars to the upside here the blue line is above the orange so that's a bullish indicator although this is a four hour chart so it doesn't have such a relevant meaning in the grand schema of things uh, the bitmax funding rate is very favorable for the bulls as you can see we had a negative bar here and now we have a positive but very short one at 0 0.01 almost 0 0.02 but that is very that is very low so i don't see any market sentiment from this indicator the bitmax funding rate that we could have a big correction and probably we can go to the downside a bit and return to the upside again so let's go to the one hour just to check the um, bitmax funding rate have a closer look so as you can see there's a small difference between the four hour and the one hour we have on the one hour we have 0 0.05 so still still low i would not consider this as a very uh, um, uh, favorable case for the bears However, we should not go above my threshold at 0 0.11, which would indicate a bigger correction for the price action. But all the moving averages are turning back up, so I expect this price action, uh, this decline in the price action to stop at some point in time soon, and probably we could continue to the upside again to retest the 59. Okay, let's quickly go to the pro indicators, strategy and framework. Uh, so, in this um, wider view of the price action, we are still in no man's land. Let me just uh, throw a fib here and see where we are regarding the dump zone. So, we are going to the upside there. Let me just... Uh, uh -huh. Yep, we are. So, the current price action is very close to the red area uh, which indicates that between the red and the orange which is the 59 or 60 sorry the 60 the orange dashed line is the 60,000 line which corresponds to the third range boundary between this red area of the Fibonacci and this orange dashed line would be uh, if you consider taking profits from your positions this would be the nicest area of uh, take profit if we come back down a bit and we remain in between the red and the green areas that's what i call the dump zone i will never trade in the dump zone i will not get into the market or exit the market i will wait for some indication that we are going below the green or above the red and that will as you seen in my last video according to the at that bonus content in the end when i explained about uh, the position management and risk management uh, so i would only consider taking any action if we are above the red or below the green and that would correspond to what i explained yesterday about position management and risk management okay that's it for me we will have a shorter video today uh, let me just mention before I forget, the momentum is uh, giving me a divergence uh, signal here. So it's possible that we have some kind of downside action for some time. But I don't expect a big correction uh, coming from this um, point in time until at least Saturday or Sunday. It's possible we can have a, a uh, you know uh, a bit of downside in the price action but i'm not expecting some big movements uh, it's possible that we are going sideways for some time and then try to retest the higher levels again okay guys this is uh, everything for today let me just go back to turn off the screen share so uh regarding the voting of the of the day so don't forget we are going to have a live stream for test purposes on saturday i would really like you guys to be present i hope everyone can be present at that live stream uh according to the um, time exact time that i'm going to start the stream let's hope everyone can do it probably it will be uh saturday later that day so 
for the Portuguese time, this would be maybe before dinner or just after dinner. I don't want it to make it too late also. Uh, but then I, I hope that everyone will be able to attend the live stream and I hope it will be a good stream anyway with, without any hardware issues or any network issues or any problems with audio and sync and, and syncing audio and video and all that. So this will be the first time I will do it and this is obviously to test the capabilities of, the, of my computer and also my own capabilities of conducting a live stream. I hope everything goes fine. So guys, uh, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, small daily briefing or short daily briefing and I hope to see you all guys tomorrow in the live stream. Until then, bye bye.